I'll be right back. I'm gonna get some water. You're good. All right. Um, we are live. Hello to everyone on YouTube. Um, just got a face cam. Uh, this is what I look like. And today we are going to be continuing doing Radical Red. Um, I am going to be streaming essentially all my team buildings for big boss fights. I've decided to change the style of this game to use documentation for big boss fights. For normal trainers, I'll probably just like go through them. Um, but for big boss fights, I will prepare because it's getting more and more annoying to um, essentially uh, face boss fights where I don't know the teams and then just wipe and keep wiping until I'm out of Pokemon and then waste a whole bunch of time making uh, getting back to where I left off. So that's my plan. Um, I can, we are about to do Giovanni. Um, but before we do Giovanni, um, new encounters, wait, let me go over essentially what I'll be doing in terms of videos. Uh, for YouTube, you'll see all the boss fights, um, but you won't see the team building, but I will upload a VOD of the entire stream. So if you're interested, you can watch that and I will try my best to timestamp it. And yeah, I think that's everything I need to cover. Uh, oh, also Soren is here talking to me with the stream while I play. So, without further ado, let's get started. We're about to do the Giovanni fight. Um, but before that, we got some encounters. Um, I think the last thing I did was the truck fight. So I got Aegis Slash from the game corner. Maybe I showed that off, maybe I didn't. Uh, obviously got the Gift Lapras, and then I got the Gift Sceptile. Um, but, looking at our team, which I need to toss items on everyone. Um... You know, I'll go through the team and then I'll explain um, what the idea is. So, we're going up against Giovanni's team. Hopefully it's visible. It looks slightly visible on mine. Um, who has a... Uh, up. Team Rocket Grunts. Giovanni, Selfco. Um, Paladon. Ultigeist, Excadrill, uh, Garchomp, and Kangaskhan. Uh, wow, is it Ace 56? I swear I put everything as 57. That should still be 57. Shouldn't make a difference. If anything, if I get that little bump uh, in level games, it'll make everything better. Or uh, at least I hope so. But, okay. So, looking at Giovanni's team, how I'm countering it. Okay. So, he leads off with a Paladon. Um, Semi Sage with Sage Power is literally the only Pokemon that can one shot this out on uh, without it having to do anything else. So, Leech Storm is definitely a one shot. Giga Drain also one shots. Um, I have Leech Seed and Natural Gift, but maybe I should switch those moves out. I think I'll think about it a little bit more before I go in. Um, and that's how we kill the Hapaldon. Obviously, it sets up Sand, so we have Holy Tune in the back to essentially get Drizzle up so we can get rid of Extra's, uh Sand Rush. And Garchomp Sandville. Now looking into what he'll go into after killing the Habaldon, I'm not really sure. Um, it has to be something that's like pretty decently effective against um, Semi Sage, but honestly, I'm not sure what it could be. So that's kind of like uh, the one thing that scares me. But I have a lot of backup here. So um, to deal with the Poltergeist, we have Umbreon. Um, it, the essentially the Poltergeist does like no damage to me. I need to fix these moves. Um, but we're, I'll fix the moves uh, before we go into battle. But Sucker Punch is our main move, and it'll do the most damage to Poltergeist. Um, yeah, because that's our strongest stab move. We don't have Foul Play right now. Um, then looking at Excadrill, I have two main ideas. If not, uh, Semi Sage can definitely put in work if there's no um, Sand Up. It'll be like not great, but we'll still outspeed and be able to go for Giga Drains. But most likely if Extra Drill comes in and we'll go for Sword Dance, we can switch out immediately into Illumize, who can Prankster Encore. Um, and then we can switch out into Decidueye, who I need to give um, Dream Punch as well to. Um, but yeah, Illumize is a very good Pokemon to Encore stuff. We could also Encore the Garchomp and the Scale Shot or Swords Dance and then start spamming uh, Play Rough. Um, 
that's the idea for Garchomp. And then Kangaskhan, um, a little bit scary, but we also have Malamar with Contrary who can go and spam uh, superpowers uh, and essentially will keep getting boosts. Um, same concept with Psycho Boost if we need it, but Superpower is better because essentially if whenever Kangaskhan goes, comes out, it will go for Fake Out, we immediately switch into this. We need to put a Citrus Berry on this thing. Um, after the first Fake Out, um, they'll most likely go for Power Up Punch. Oh, and I just closed out my stream. Full. Well, or I just closed out my game. Anyway. Um, yeah, I'm stupid. But, um, if I'm looking at the calcs right, Mega Kangaskhan should not kill us after, although I did not check for Body Slam. So, if I'm 57, it's Jolly, ability is Parental Bond, that Fake Out into Body Slam. Sure, it's most powerful move. Body slam or crunch? It's definitely body slam. Yeah, I don't get killed. So as long as I have citrus berry, I should constantly be living and two superpowers. Um, I should be fine. So that is the plan. I'm going to fix up everyone's um, items really quick, and then we'll start the battle. But. For now, we're, me and Sora, I'm just gonna chill. Who, who are you going against? Giovanni, and his team is shown. Hmm. Um, I need to think about. Let's see, I still don't have leftovers yet, or have I not? Who's your counter to guard Trump? Illumise. Il Illumis. Most likely it will set up. Okay. Like, uh, switching in on something. Is, um, Illumis a uh, fairy type? Yeah, it's fairy type in this game. Okay. So it's not, it's not actually not a bad Pokemon. So things I need to do, I also need to go and catch Snorlax, because he has... He has the, um... He has the leftovers I need, I'm pretty sure. Although I may not need it. It's only good for Politoed. But also I'm running low on Citrus Berries. Anything that can help you, I'd, I'd, I'd go and grab. Oh, for sure. Uh, okay. Let me find out where I can get Citrus Berries. I wish you could just buy them. Maybe I could do some fishing wells for it. Uh, let me Google on. Um, Teddy Ursa holds citrus berries. Would you have thief on them on? I do. Are they all, all are they always holding citruses or? Uh no, it's a chance. But honestly, this game has pretty good. Mount Moon D1.
Mount Moon B1F. Basement one. Okay. So you said only OBS has the blur feature on the background? Uh, yeah. Well, it's not like a... It's essentially a feature. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Paris, Slugma, Torkoal, yeah, it's 10% chance to get Teddy Ursa. There he is. Get something? Not even a little bit. I know I can get them from Wishing Wells, so maybe I should do one of those. Or like Den Raids. Ooh. Do this? I can't remember if that can hold anything. Ah, I got something. I think it was a berry though. I think it was just a more berry. Hmm. Okay, let me try raid dense. Citrus, Stardust, Dust Balls, Ayapa Berries, Star Piece. Great. Range. Ah, found it. This is what I need. Diglett Caves. Alright, I guess I'll try all the raid bends. Oh, that's I don't see what you can get. It says that there's a 30% chance to, uh... Get a thing from this. Hmm. Wings. Start up. Fringe, come on, what the fuck? <laughs> Ooh, okay, this is a three star. Speaking of cringe, my controller won't connect to my. Soon. Dude, seriously? Am I about to just get more swift wings? Keep throwing in those wishing pieces. Ah, uh, damn it. <laughs> Keep throwing them in. You'll get it, you'll get it, you'll get it some dough. <laughs> or I could just prepare. 
whatever. <laughs> uh, steel fairy. Check if that works. Seriously, just get a moonstone. Oh, my God. Okay, I do not have the patience. Sold on, and let's just steal these. So we can also catch Snorlax here. Uh, I guess that we can be quick all him. Try and if not, we can always just leave. Almost. Ooh, I can no longer escape. That's not good. Uh, I'm gonna superpower once. Oof. A giga impact to me. Um. Snorlax's hidden ability is good. Blood needs. Um, it is nighttime. Dust. Lunch is back. Oof, did I? Yeah, I did battle everyone. Okay, thank god. Did I seriously just waste my citrus berry? Still should be fine. Although I wish there was literally a place I could buy citrus. Like So, I know for a fact Malamar needs berry, or some type of berry to stay alive. Let's see. Still should be okay. If only I could freaking get these citrus berries.
Six, route four, route nine, route four, route twenty-five, route five, route six. Also one. Um. You still there? Yeah, I'm still here. Still trying to get a citrus berry. I spilled really. I spilled water all on my desk, and I was like, "Fuck." <laughs> Almost gotten to my keyboard. Thank God. Dude, when I came back to my apartment after break, my computer, like, oh, in the, in our house, our apartment, whatever. Yeah. Um, it was like 46 degrees. And I was like using my computer. My computer was running so slow. Wait, like, for real? Yeah. I don't know why. It, had it was to, just it running had to warm super up. slow. It had to warm up. Yes, so. It can't be too cold. Like liquid cooled PCs are cool, but they're not like ice cold. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was probably the liquid was slowly getting cold. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Maybe like condensation in the room. Oh shit. Because good PCs, good liquid cooling can get it down to like 50 degrees, but 42 degrees? Ah. Still testing your luck, huh? Bro, I, I accidentally used my citrus berry fighting the Snorlax. And I'm getting everything but citrus berries. How strong was this normally? Like level 45. It really wasn't that bad. Oh. I'm just annoyed because it's, it's literally not that bad of a chance to uh, hit citrus berries. I'm just super unlucky. Fun, clever wings, chillin' bear. Like, I think I'm just gonna roll without it. I actually can't stand it. You need it. You need it. I'll be okay. I'll be okay. I can look at what other items I can get. Um. In terms of what I can use. Maybe. Uh, honestly, Umbreon does not need. And maybe I have a berry so they can't use rock type moves on my, uh, my Illumise. Mm -hmm. I actually really like that. Need to fix those moves. I have any. Do excerpt belt, this is UI. Alright, I think excerpt belt, this is UI is the best I can do. Do you have a miracle seed for uh some... David, if I bought you Nexomon, would you play it on your channel? What is Nexomon? <laughs> it's a Pokemon type game. That's all. Never heard of it. That's the one I thought what was the name of the one that you played on yours? Nexomon. <laughs> is it that was is that what it was called? It must oh, have been a while. Coromon. That's there's what I was thinking, Coromon. Do you have Coromon? I do not. I'll get you that for Christmas then. Merry Christmas. 
Grazie, I appreciate it. I also Maybe was trying you. to get you a gift for Christmas, but the item that I was trying to get you has been sold out for weeks. There was something else that I was- Sold doing. out? Yes. Yeah, like actually. Like apparently it's actually like really hard to find. Check eBay for it. I don't know. I will try. But, yeah. There's Here's something else that I, was, that I was gonna give you. I can't remember. Because my mom wanted something we to get off of eBay for her because it, it was limited edition. Mm -hmm. And then my dad wanted something and then we found it off a different site than the original site. I may try that. Because I was checking on like this official site, but it's harder to get. People uh, don't want you to buy it from the official site. Well, the, oh, if it's sold out, I wonder, I wonder how resale value is on it. Motherfucker. Thank you. Let me I'll greet you it right now. I'll send you the code right fucking now, so. Please, uh, let me play. Um. Uh... Alright, so all these things suck. All these things here are ass. Good to know. Oh wait, what's this one? Maybe I could do like wide lens hypnosis on my... Where can you buy competitive items? I don't know. Arladon, maybe? Hmm, okay, I guess there's nowhere to buy content. Okay. Whatever. Could also buy more TMs. I have a lot of money. Oh yeah, I forgot this. Ooh, chill, chill. Oof. So it's something that I really needed. Okay. Um. My voice is too low. Ah, uh, but da da. Alright. Okay. Hmm. For some reason, I sound really low. Maybe I'm staying too far away. Do 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 do. See what other items I can get. Hmm. Well, that's cringe. All right, I think this is better. Where did that leftovers go? Alright, let me just make everyone's moves good. Thief, nice slash. 
probably give him Drain Punch. Go to the TM. Bye. Seems good. Liked might also not be bad. Poison Dance, Scald, Poison Jab. As in Gleam is not that good. Excuse the train. Oof. Okay. Definitely want Drain Punch on some people. Sucker is not bad. Do we ever need? Train punch. Great birds never. Oh, Mike was muted the whole time. Um, is not bad on Malamar. Rock Tomb, Early, Dragon Dance, Facade, Defog, Rest, Raining Kiss, Thief, Luch Life, Roost. Hey, okay, Roost could be really good on this. The only thing is that it has no way of stopping Excadrill. Given that I don't have Protect, I think Wish may be bad. Although it could be good as a last resort. No, because I need to. I would need to live the next. I mean, as long as something isn't getting one shot, it's not bad. Hmm. First. Hmm. Let's let's get roost. Sucker punch, high jump kick, leaf blade. Sucker punch is really good. High jump kick definitely needed leaf blades. Really solid. Oh, well, let's see. Is there anything that I'm going for leaf plate on that I normally wouldn't? Ulti guys, maybe, but we don't have to worry about that as much. He played on Garchomp, maybe. Hmm. Leaf plate on Gar for Garchomp. I don't like it. It's probably pretty good. Like it just hits neutral. High jump kick probably does more. 
get rid of that. Okay. Renan's Toxic Scald. Flip turns for good. This is good. This is fine. So fine. Maybe I should PP up some Sucker Punches. Or Psycho. Just can this learn anything else? Reversal's not bad. Foul play's okay. So I mean, Flux, Psycho Cut, Slash. Maybe like a backup Reflex. Not bad. Um, okay. I think it is try time to try our luck. So lead is always Semi Sage. See how well we do. Hopefully we don't move. Team set up. My cat has entered the building. Soren, are you here? It's a no. Okay. Alright, so this is for the YouTube edit, but um, class changes, uh, put Toxic on Simi Sage's backup, Roost, Drain Punch. For Decidueye, um, Toxic Scald, Flip Turn. Maybe I should do Protect instead of Rain Dance. I like that idea, actually. Here I am saying that I'm finished and then I'm not. Fine. Um, and then uh, Encore, Bruce, Play Rough, Toxic. Reflect, Night Slash, Superpower, Psycho Boost, Psycho Punch, Moon Lake, Toxic, and Protect. All right, I tried my best to figure this out, so hopefully it works out. But generally, I'm just kind of interested in what Giovanni will do as soon as I kill his Paladon. So, yeah. I am in for a world of hurts. Okay, reset my PC. Everything works. I sent you your code for Koromon. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Just started the Giovanni fight. Yeah, I've missed everything up until this point, so... Uh... Nah, you're good. You're good. I didn't... I just changed a couple things. Like, very small. Not that important. My audio just stopped working. And I was like, alright, well... <laughs> yeah, you really didn't miss that much. You're fine. Uh, okay. No reason to watch the VOD. Alright, Mort! Mort! So he actually goes... Ultic Ice. And I think it's just gonna set up, so I think... Umbreon's always my best play. Because this is my counter for this. He, of course, Shell Smashes, White Herbs... And... My best play here. Uh, let me check. I was always gonna shadow punch here, or not shadow punch, uh, sucker punch. Let me just double check. Cause he is modest. Plus two. Sorry, my cat is going crazy. So, he's definitely going for Giga Drain. I remember that being his highest attack move. 35 to 41. Sucker Punch, I'm doing 60 to 72. So, with two Sucker Punches, I should kill. So, we really don't have to worry about much. Weak Armor, also, I forgot. Boosts its speed. Crits me, which is not good, but... Um, is there ever a reason to protect here? I don't think so. We just always sucker punch and we kill the Pulte guys. Nice. Oh, he is dead. Yeah. I hated T anyway. Okay. Next, probably will be Kangskhan. Wow, it's actually Garchomp. 
So, very high likelihood for Garchomp to Swords Dance or Scale Shot to get the boost. So I'm actually going to go Illumis. Hopefully he doesn't... Okay, he Earthquaked. Not expecting that. Now I'm interested to see what this AI does. He's Garchomp. He's jolly. Oh, just miss it. I'm good. I am 57. Garchomp he is 56. Um, jolly earthquake. Earthquake. Um, rock slide. And Scale Shot does, doesn't do anything to me because I'm Fairy type. I am also a Impish nature. I also have a Berry. All right, let me make sure. I have a Charty. T-Berry. Rock Slide and Earthquake do the exact same, which is kind of shocking. Um, but I could see what he does by going Roost. Because he sets up. That's great for me. Um, it's actually beneficial for me. I could also spam Toxic. Let me think. I think Toxic is my best play because Rock Slide will do the same as Earthquake. If he goes for Sword Dance, I can always Encore him. There's probably some AI thing that they taught where uh, the enemy Mon will not go for Sword Dance if this has Encore. I think Toxic is always my best play. I'm going to go for Toxic. Let me see what he goes for. He goes for Swords Dance. Holy shit, that is perfect. Okay, now we Encore. He's now stuck in the Swords Dance. How long does Encore last? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no, three, three turns. turns. So that does that count as the first one? I'm gonna Google it. <laughs> I know God damn turns, it, Bobby. Though. Oh, he withdrew. Hold the phone. Okay. Okay, so I did not know that about the AI. So if it gets stuck in Encore, it switches out. Also, this fucking... Oh, I forgot it's Sandstream. Okay, 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 okay. So now, this is interesting because now I don't know what this will do. Earthquake, Iron Head, and Rock Slide. Look at Excadrill. Where's 55? He's adamant. Still have my berry. Earthquake, Iron Head. Ooh, Iron Head's super effective against me. I forgot about that. Damn. Um. So he has a chance that he. I mean, he kills me with Iron Head. Um. And Rock Slide doesn't do anything to me. I have to switch. Uh, he still. Have, well, he actually took a little bit of chip there. Um, I am impish. So, if I play rough Tim, he took about 20%. Yeah, that looks right. My Decidueye, Hisuian Calc. E7. Ooh, I don't outspeed him in the sand, actually. I think I have to get rid of the sand to do anything here. Yeah, I gotta go Froggy G. And he swords dances, which is not good for me. So let me toss in my Politoed set. I'm not even sure if I live one, honestly. I brought something that was immune to Earthquake. Make sure I'm Impish. Seven, he's plus two. Yeah, so we get wrecked by an Earthquake. So he's definitely going for Earthquake. 
Wait, hold on. How many times have I switched? I was in Illumine Illumise. Then I switched Politoed. That's one switch. So I still have two more switches until that random AI kicks in. What's Decidueye look like now? How much am I taking from an earthquake? Okay, I'm taking half. Am I adamant? I'm impish. Hold up. Is it because I never outspeed? 88. Hold on, 88. Level 55. Uh, Sidui, Hisuian. Overgrow, I get 1.5 speed. 102 times 1.5 should definitely be enough. I also have 1.2 attack. Um, will rush. Let's check what Drain Punch does. Damn, that does a lot. That uh, 80%. The chance to kill. Very high chance to kill. I jump kick. Yeah. Very high chance to kill with Decidueye. Um. Hmm. Very high chance to kill with Decidueye. I don't think a semi sage. Let's check semi sage and then we'll go to Sidui. Five. How much should we take from an earthquake? Adamant. Earthquake. We're modest. No, we're timid. We're timid. Oh, he's timid though. He really do be doing a lot shit. Done for. All right. You storm. That twenty percent. Actually, guaranteed Oko. Then I don't know what he switches into. Multigeist is dead. Hippo's dead. Extra drill will be dead. May go Kangaskhan. That's fine. But if he goes Garchomp, that's could be bad. Um. Hmm. Okay, it's actually very okay. This may seem crazy. I'm going Semi Sage. Hopefully, earthquakes. What's the reasoning for Semi Sage? Okay, I live, and it is because I one shot him with Leaf Storm. Oh wait. Okay, no, 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 no. still guaranteed, Doko. Okay, okay, we're good. What made you doubt that? Uh, because I accidentally put in that extra drill had 20% HP and not 80. So there was a big reason to doubt there. Okay, this is huge. Um, Kangaskhan does. So Kangaskhan, we have Malamar, and this is actually really big because he will definitely go for fake out because uh, I normally outspeed him. So he fakes me out. That did a lot more than I'd like. Um. So I am like super mega positive that I live, um, I'm super duper positive that I live a, uh, body slam now. He is 56 also instead of Ali, it's all bonds. I think I am impish. Impish, and I'm at 150, so I'm at 82%. Fake out. Ooh, fake out should have done more, actually. Thank God, did it. Ice slam. Ice slam is 50. 
43 to 52. Power punch. It's 15 to 18. Followed by a plus one. Defense, plus two attack. Okay, I may die. But damn if we didn't live. Malamar, <laughs> pull through. And if we do. Okay, so, so now there's, I, I think I may die. Actually, it is 57 to 68. There's a very low chance I die. Hold, hold. Let's go. Let's go. King Scon is dead. Okay. Okay, this is huge. This is huge. Garchomp is the only one left. And he's poisoned. Okay. Okay. So I would be very, very shocked. I think my best play is always Owl City. Um, because if he goes for anything. Like, if he goes for Swords Dance, I can lock him in. If he goes for Earthquake, that's fine. I can just Roost. And Roost the following turn. Kind of spam. Um. Yeah, I think that's my best move. Okay, he went for Earthquake. Um, I think Roost is my best play. Strangely enough. Uh, I think he sees a kill. Um, with Rock Slide, though. Check, though. D7, I am Impish. Um, he's Jolly, right? Yeah, pretty sure. Yeah, he was guaranteed Jolly. Earthquake, Rock Slide. I also have a Charty Berry. Bro, this Charty Berry came in clutch. Rock Slide does 24 to 28%. I have 57 HP. 31. I'm barely, just barely out of range of dying. So I think we always roost. Please, Swords Dance. Please, Swords Dance. Let's go. Okay. Encore the Swords Dance. And then we play rough to end the game. That is a Deathless Giovanni. Let's freaking go. Hell yeah. Alright. Talk to this guy. Oh, he gives me a Master Ball. I did not know that. Huh. That's crazy. Okay. Also, some legendary Pokemon should open up soon. Which, if I'm doing all static encounters or free encounters, I just hopefully will have some legendary Pokemon before the Elite Four. But... Great success. Great success. Nice. So now we do the Sabrina fight. Um, let's wipe out the trainers first, though. Oh, damn it. I fucking hate when I try to re take the item off of someone and I always rename them. And then I can never forget, I can never remember what his name was. He has a new name now. His name's Mort. His name was Mort. Thank, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Every time that happens to me, I always struggle to remember what the name was. <laughs> All right. Dave will never have kids. He will always. <laughs> <be free. laughs> All right. Always <laughs> forget. All right, so now we just have to take out some trainers in for the psychic gym. I'm pretty sure they all should be easy from what I remember. Although I remember there was something in there that was like really scary. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, let's definitely grab Excelgore. He's definitely good for wiping out some Pokemon. Doroak's probably not bad. And I also like Semi-Sage. Honestly, Snorlax is pretty strong, too. Um, 
Umbreon might be too defensive. Just for wiping out trainers. Yeah, I don't really want to mess with that right now. Okay. Um, let's level up, uh... Whatever his name is, Snorlax. Crunch, very good move. Heavy Slam, not a bad move. High horsepower. Oh shit, the level cap also went up, I forgot. Nice. Okay. <sighs> Oof, bold is terrible. Let's do calm. Wait, calm is bad. What's the other one? Careful. Because you can never be too careful. Slash bitter malice is physical. Special. Why is this thing jolly then? Um, each slash I think should be adamant. Oh no. Oh no, this is a good set. Cheer force. Very good. This one should also be fine. Ah, Malamar is actually trash. Swap him out. Malamar is pretty freaking bad. You're bad, kid. You're bad. We're freaking awful. Um. All right, I'll bring Semi Sage just because he's super strong. Ooh, or Scyther is honestly really good. Uh, okay. All right, I think we're chilling with this right now. Oh, also, I cleared out the Team Rocket, so I can actually go to this run. Hell yeah. Okay, now this guy gives me a bunch of good moves. Oh, hey. C play, Leaf Bomb, Knock Off. Okay. I don't know if I need these right now, but those are very good moves. Whatever. Oh shit, okay, cool. So that's the guy that gives you Hisuian potential. This is the Mudkip kid. Uh, oh. That we don't want to talk yeah. to. <laughs> Not unless we prepare for it, that's for sure. We'll prepare for it after... After... Um, Sabrina fight. Where the fuck is the gym at? Trippin? Oh, I forgot. It's like literally right next to the dojo. Oh, let's go! Hold the phone. Oh, uh, Mega Ring. Hold that changes everything. Okay. Hold I have to hold look hold up hold. to see, honestly, what. Um... So I don't think I have Surf yet. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, boy. I do not have surf yet. I only have cut and fly, so that very limit that very much does limit the amount of mega stones I have access to. Well, let me see who's got a mega. Actually, Lapras has a mega. Mega stones. Bumperdite. Um. Bombert follower. Um, Lapras? Seafoam Islands. Damn it. Okay. Septile. Northern South. Upper South Gate on Route 16. After you show him a septile. Route 16. Anyone else get a mega in here? Ooh, pincer. Yo. 
Route 6, southwest of the pond. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, I also have uh, potential in uh, Scizor also. But let's see. Anyone else? Uh, Mega Ball? I don't think so. Route 6. Route 6 south of the pond. I don't think I have... Damn it. I don't have fucking Rock Sash. Alright, Route 16. 16. Cool. Upper south gate on Route 16 from Scientist. Okay. Probably don't have access to it yet. Let's see, upper south gate. Yes. Yo yo. At the septile light. Look at the septile light. I don't know how good it is for this gem. It's probably really terrible, actually. But. I think she's right there. Because this gym leader uses um, Trick Room. And Septile oh, yeah, is really you... fast. He is ain't he pretty fast, man. Alright. Let's fly back. And let's kill everyone. Ooh. Leftovers, leftovers. Spirit Bone's probably really good for you. Evia Light for the Scyther. I can fucking find it. And. Wait, I have a spell tag. Cleansed. Wait, fuck. I have a spell tag. Oh, guess not. Okay. Damn. Hardest thing about this game. The fifth grade year old puzzles. We just go bottom right all the way through. Should kill. There's the bottom left. I don't know. This should probably not kill. And this thing probably has flamethrower. Swagger. There's no flamethrower. John. Yo, calm down! Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Damn, I didn't even see what he went for. What the hell is Wonder Room? Oh, uh, that does nothing. Okay. That doesn't. Fuck. And I am healing after every battle because I'm not trying to lose progress. These trainers are no joke. Barry doesn't resist a uh, bug, does it? Barry resists. I guess it does. Okay. Bug? Goes for taunt. I go for heavy slam. You're done. You're done. Nice. Boom. Big. Where the freak are they? Do do do. Do 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 Oh wait, I didn't look for the scissorite, did I? Scissorite, Route 22, below the pond, and a ledge in the center, so I still need Surf. Yikes. Yikers, that's pretty freaking cringe. Should die. Okay. 
Okay, this definitely does not die. Fuck, he's probably got Will O' Wisp. Whatever. Oh, he put a curse. Okay, that's stupid. Off a gets... Don't let him change your ability. He's pretty good in RU. Go this. Fuck, I didn't see what he went for. Oh, I outspeed. And I one shot him. Nice. And I'm better. And I'm better at the game. See, Radical Red isn't for the faint-hearted. This game gives me so much anxiety. No, yeah, that makes sense. I love it. I live for anxiety. Alright, I know I outspeed. But now I'm like a little bit worried. Okay, he went for close combat and now he's dead. Lol. You're done. Ooh. Well, he's bad. Alright, I should live anything. Nice, dude, Age Slash is so freaking good. That's a new Espeon sprite. Is it really? I've never seen where they, they stance like that. Mm. Fuck. I thought it was just bottom left all the way through. I... I don't even know. But I don't like trusting it. Alright, that one wasn't too bad. Alright, have I battled? Okay. I have battled everyone, right? Dude, what the fuck? No think, just play. Oh, haven't battled this lady. Fuck. Probably the one you need to go in then. No! You oh. fucking bitch! You fucking- This is what I mean. This is exactly what I mean. <laughs> And this one he, also he has Destiny Bond. He took your lunch. <laughs> Thank God the Aegis Lush's name isn't money or anything. That would be a rush. Oh. What is bitter malice? What the fuck is malice? It's not even a real move. What is up with this like guaranteed freeze? If this doesn't kill, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm annoyed. I'm on full tilt right now. <laughs> he took your lunch and your money. Oh, no. I fucking knew some shit was gonna happen like that. Who even are you? Like, I fucking knew, like... I should have fucking. All right. Well, now we prepare for the Sabrina fight <laughs> without an age slash now, which is going to be impossible. So, fantastic. Fast freaking fantastic. It was his last day before retirement. He's dead. Aegis Slash is literally like one of the strongest mods in the game, too. Mm -hmm. um, you were just saying how nice is to have Aegis Slash. That was your mistake. Yeah, I should have never said anything. Okay. You felt hope. Mm -mm. Cool. Oh. Sabrina team. Sabrina. 
Uf. Wait, did it not? What? Yo. Ah, here you go. Did not change. Boom. You're done now, paycheck. Alright. Sabrina team. Sabrina there team. Goes. Cover up the badges, cause why not? Alright. <sighs> so it's a double battle. Hatterene and DD with Surge. Psychic Surge. So I could also try to get, so I could work with the Trick Room and bring slow Pokemon, or I should, or I could try to avoid Trick Room coming up. Which all of their Pokemon have uh, minus speed natures. And that Ursa Luna looks freaking scary. Well, okay, so I have to kill the Hatterene first, which means I need a Steel type, but also both of them have Mystical Fire, so let me see if I have a, a Fire Resistant Berry. Not. Okay. Well, I guess I need to figure out what will one-shot a Hatterene also. Powers up to- ooh, okay, that could definitely help. Um... So... Should I show off my Pokemon Showdown calcs? Oh, no worries. Sorn has Adiost. Okay, so let's set up for Sabrina fight, and we'll call it a night. Link, bang. I will be the nine, and the Hatterene will be three. Seven. Uh, what is my strongest move? Gear grind. Yeah, so, so far my best move is 100 attack, which is very good. Gear grind. I have guaranteed Oko. That's very good. I don't even have to be adamant. Quiet. So I definitely one shot with Gear Grind, which is really good. And I can bring something that's quick with Taunt. I'm inviting in Ursa Luna. And I'm pretty sure Ursa Luna always protects first turn. Sod Crunch. It will be slow. 
Hmm. So clink clink is a must. I need stuff for taunting. Uh, let's see how much I'll take from a. Indeedy. So gear grind one shot tattering. NDD uh, is quiet nature. Jay's up special attack, which is not good. How much mystical fire does? Forty five is not bad. That's definitely not bad. Definitely doable. A calm nature. That's even less. I wonder if we need the speed. Saluna is slow, I'm pretty sure. 50 is super slow. Cardivore. 100 after Mega Evolution. So no read to speed creep that. Porygon 2 were obviously faster then. So let's prepare that we can we can prevent Trick Room from happening. So let's um let's actually go adamant. Adamant, um, Inkling. Your grind is 50, 52 uh, in DD, but maybe we can just like off the rip kill something. Selgor look like 59. Um, Air Force, Bug Buzz. Ah, uh, not Bug Bite. Ooh, it's also a guaranteed open. We can kill two things right off the bat. Hot on Ursulina, and then Porygon 2 comes out. Ursulina probably comes out. I mean, as long as... Oh, Gardevoir also has Trick Room? It's like not even beneficial. It's 100 base. It's like... And Timid. So stupid. Um, I mean, especially if I'm modest, I'm doing a lot of damage with Excel Gore actually. Is because uh, I'm pretty sure Bug Buzz has a chance to lower defense. Yeah, that's why it does like a trillion. Okay, really good though. Crawdot has adaptability, which maybe we can get some priority on something. So after I kill the first two, it looks like Scizor is actually not a bad pick. Um, it's good against everything. Especially Guard of War. It's really good against Guard of War. I think we should also evolve our Scyther. And I think we'll bring, uh, we'll definitely bring Scizor. Donde, donde esta level ups? All right, here we go. Uh, no coach. Okay. And metal coat. Scyther. I'm pretty sure this is just like the best play. It slows us down, but at least we get access to bullet punch. Or hopefully we get access to bullet punch. Otherwise, this would be worthless. Yeah, we get bullet punch. Nice. Um, dual wing meat is very good still. Thursday's honestly might not be a bad move either. We have technician. Hell yeah. Okay. Pretty sure we can just one shot Gardevoir then. I also have access to knockoff now. And Crawdon is definitely not as scary. Uh, not as scary now. Uh, well, it may it may be first turn, but I know we don't dock, die to an Aqua Jet, so it's probably going for. I, I mean, we're faster though, most likely faster. Ursuline will protect first move also, so we definitely have to have Taunt on Excelgar, and maybe on another Pokemon as well. Ugh, as well, Spikes is bad. 
So as long as we kill Hatterene and Didi, um, shouldn't have to worry about- Oh, fucking Psychic Surge. Wait, how does Psychic Surge- what does Psychic Surge do? It's rid of priority, right? Uh, damn, what is Psychic Surge? Uh, psychic Surge, or Psychic Terrain, ooh. Boost the power of effective Pokemon, become immune to pronounce. Okay, so Aqua Jet actually doesn't work. I don't have to worry about that. Um, which is good. Well, it's a problem. Yeah, well, I'm not preventing Psychic Surge, actually, so it's not that big of a deal. So we know Scizor, Clickling coming, Solgar is definitely coming. Uh, maybe have a backup. Maybe have some backup Pokemon in case we aren't able to get rid of Trick Room. Um, like a fast taunt. I think Watchhog can learn Trick Room. Probably not that good though. Like, we just need to be brute forcing our way through this. Um, I wonder how good Samurott is. Because we could definitely throw. I mean, Aqua Jet doesn't work though. What's our slowest Pokemon right now? I think we should have a backup slow Pokemon. Ursaluna and Crawdot are the ones that we're dealing with. Crawdot is brave. Five for Saluna. It's fifty, so we just need something lower than fifty. Right. Uh, let's. let's Porygon two is sixty, so we're looking at Ursaluna with my speed nature. Uh, let's see. Oh, fifty-seven. Yeah, let's just go brave. We need to be below seventy-one. We're just looking for 50 base though. Sola is slower, but probably not good. I also have Corsola with Eviolite now. Which is very good. Hmm. Kabutop, Chandelure, uh, Umbreon, 65. Damn. Berserkers, 50. Okay. The stocks. I could bring Quant Claw Witzer. Oh, wait, it's 72? Wow, okay, it's faster than I thought. I thought the speed was super low. Um. I can rock Midnight, it's too fast. Abominable is actually really good. And it can also beat some psychic type moves. And if something ever comes up. So that's a good thought. Crabominable is a good thought. Appleton, no. There's also Appleton Mega Evolution in here. Chog, Magnezone, 60. Nope. Nothing on here for sure. All rain? Nope. Wrestle? Nope. Okay, I'm pretty sure everything is faster here except for this guy. I think we bring up him as a backup. Uh, backup if Trick Room does get set up. Hmm. Um. Septile could also be good to get. Let me think about this. Septile could be good to take on. We can't hit the Gardevoir very hard. I mean, we have Scissor for that. Take on Ursaluna, I'm thinking, but maybe this is good enough. This uh, little Herbondable is good enough to take him on. Ursaluna's defense. Okay, it's not okay. It's actually pretty good. 
This Pokemon is just good. Um, maybe Decidueye is pretty strong. Maybe like back up Politoed. Hmm. And then like Ludicolo. Hmm. Definitely a tough call because this Pokemon is really bulky. Hmm. So slow, like as long as you prevent the trick room. But maybe like another taunt? Um I think I can teach this guy Shadow Ball too. So I do think I like Zorb because it also gets taunt. Um hmm. Hmm. Maybe drop Sceptile. I mean, we have Scizor for the Gardevoir, so it's not a problem. Ooh, but the problem is, is Terrain Extender. Actually, it is a problem. I was not thinking about that. And there's no way for us to get rid of Terrain. Unless, does this thing have like Steel Roller? I think that's a TM move. Not be found. Great. Um. That would have been really good. I do have to think about the Gardevoir strategy, actually. If I need something faster than it. Seems like I should be fine just having Steel-type, because it doesn't really have anything for it. Berserker could be really good. That was Bullet Punch, though. Hmm... Damn. Maybe I could one shot with Sculpede? I don't think so though. The Gardevoir. Um, let's look at Megahorn. Nine, they also. But I don't think it makes a difference. Yeah, it doesn't. Hmm. Man. I guess I could always bring Porygon to untrick room the trick room. Ooh, Porygon 2 with fast imprison? That would be super good. That would actually be really, really strong. But I'd have to get it set up first. Which is the problem. Let's let's focus on the Gardevoir for right now. They don't really have much for it. Magnezone definitely doesn't kill. I think we have to go like a Berserker route. Or I mean, how much does Scizor take? It's normal Scizor, it's level 59. Like Garnivore. Timid, so we don't have to worry about that. Ability is Pixelate. Pretty sure it's best move. It's always Hyper Voice. Hyper Voice. Uh, what's the other moves just in case? Hyper Voice expanding course Shadow Ball. Uh, 
And let's say Secretary's up. It's 55. Just 55. That's really bad. And we survive one. One shot with Iron Head, which is good. We get Iron Head though. <sighs> no claw. There's no way Metal Claw does more than Iron Head, right? Ah, Iron Head is 10% more. There's Iron Head. Hmm. Okay. I think it's good enough though as a backup. I don't think Berserker is like yeah, per Berserker is just worse defensively. And Scizor has higher BSD. So definitely Rock and Scizor. I think Sui and Zorok also is also faster, yeah. And I have a hundred base attack. I also have knockoff now. Shadow Ball. Um, Zork. And pretty sure I don't have to be timid. Yeah, I have to be timid. So, Shadow Ball. It's half. I get one shot by Heavy Voice. You are so bad, Zark. Hmm. Let me switch out Zark for Porygon. I think the Imprison strategy is really strong. Trick Room, Imprison. Do we not get Trick Room? We don't have Trick Room yet, do we? Uh, we get it after defeating her. Great. Cool strategy, but could not use it. Maybe I could Encore stuff? How does Encore work with Protect though? Weird. Hmm. So this is still good for the Gardevoir, but I think we just need the Zorok as like a backup. Or maybe we have the Umbreon as backup? Though so it's weak to fairy. Hmm. This is very hard. I could have this as my two taunters and then maybe drop Sceptile. The only thing is that Sceptile is so fast so it's useful. The first time I wipe out both of them, then I don't know what it will go out into. I have Kling Kling and Selgor out. Which probably Ursa Luna. And I don't know who else. Like, let's imagine worst case scenario it's Crawdont. Ursa Luna will always protect first turn. So I could U-turn off the Crawdont, while he probably goes for Liquidation or Knockoff on Excelgor. I can go Scizor, no, I shouldn't go Scizor. Maybe I go Sceptile, see how much a Sept, um, I need to switch out 
Cling Clang too is terrible. Hmm. Maybe there's no priority. We could switch out Click Clang into maybe Zor Zorark. And then go Sceptile on Selgor. I resist both of his stabs. Then next turn I Mega Drain the Ursa Luna. You can see how much that does. Sceptile. Mission. Mega. Oh, it's actually physical now. Mega Drain. I wonder what it runs. Damn. Oh, wait. I'm level 100. Okay, I was about to say, why did that do so much? That does nothing. Okay. Ursa Luna. D9. Mega Drain does a good chunk. Not great though. Uh, okay. Leaf Storm? Guaranteed Oko. Oh, wait. How does Burn work in this game though? First turn, just the Orb procs, right? Very close to killing, but not good enough. Leaf Blade does even less than Leaf Storm. Maybe second turn, I actually just... Go... Zora? And then you turn out on... The Ursa Luna while Septile goes for Leaf Storm. Then I can maybe sack Clink Clang. Hmm. Okay, I think this is the team so far though. I think this is definitely the team I'm working for. I just need to work out the order. So I think I am going to call it here. Um, thank you for watching, or if you're still on the stream, thanks also for hanging out, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace!